giant family sized pizza <laughs> and he says do you want me to cut this pizza in eight pieces or 12 pieces <laughs> and i said to him you better cut it into eight pieces because i can't eat 12 pieces of pizza <laughs> there's a perfect couple ed lays an egg and maxine cackles <laughs> out. Ed, I made a pumpkin pie for dessert. Would you like me to give you a piece to sit on? Oh, sure thing now. Just put it here and dump my head. <laughs> oh, I just love him. So why don't you marry him? Uh, he uh, n never asked me. What you waiting for, Eddie? Oh, come on, Pop. Quit joking around. Grandpa, you're embarrassing them. They've only been going together for six months. Yeah. I heard on TV that today's woman wants a career instead of marriage. Oh, not me, kid. Believe me, hustling Johns is no fun. Uh, honey, she means selling bathroom plumbing. <laughs> so when are you going to marry her, Eddie? Come on, folks. Let's quit this talk about marriage. I mean, this is supposed to be a happy occasion, huh? Besides, Maxine doesn't want to get married. Yes, I do. <laughs> that is if I ever find the right guy. The right guy? <laughs> you mean you wouldn't marry me? Oh, of course I would. You big lug. Eddie, I think she just accepted your proposal. <laughs> proposal? <laughs> what proposal? You mean that wasn't a proposal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? You might as well do this thing the right way. Come on, Maxine. What Come on. What are you doing? Sit down. Oh. <laughs> Maxine, will, uh, will you marry me? I'll have to think about it. <laughs> You better think fast, his pants are starting to split. <laughs> Maxine Knitsky. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh. Listen, everybody. Listen, can I have your attention for a minute? I want to make an announcement. Since my brother has saw fit to propose in my house, I'm going to insist that he be married here. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to pick up the bill for the wedding. Oh. Oh, gee, thanks, Carl. What do you say, Nell? Would you mind taking care of the arrangements? Sure thing, you got it. I don't know what to say, except this is the greatest family in the whole world. Well, Eddie, aren't you going to kiss the bride? Oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as I can find somebody to help me get off my knee. Oh. <laughs> I'll call the auto club. Jeff. Hello? 
I'm looking for the madam of the house. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. That's three blocks down. <laughs> yes? Perhaps I should have introduced myself. My card. Okay. Graham Bush. Glen Lawn's finest caterer. Come on in here. Incidentally, your flowers are dead. <laughs> Thank you. I was just about to get rid of them anyway. Hi, I'm Nell Harper. I'm taking care of the food arrangements. Set a seat. <clears throat> well, obviously, you know something about food. <laughs> I know a meatball when I see one. Well, you just leave everything in my hands, and I'll give you an affair to remember. <laughs> an affair with you is something I wouldn't forget. Mm -hmm. Have you picked the hotel yet? No, we thought we would have it here. Here? In a thrift shop? <laughs> a family wedding. Whatever does the groom do? Oh, he's a mortician. How festive. <laughs> and the bride? Well, she's retired. From what? Well, see, she used to be a professional, but when she gets married, she's going back to being an amateur. <laughs> she's an athlete? That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> Come on, let's come here and talk about the menu. Now, we want your very best. Ah, the very best would be $85 a head. Not that best. Uh, what would I get for, say, $15 a head? A lot of cold stares. <laughs> the best I can do for you is $25 a head. Okay, well, now you're talking turkey. Actually, you'll be eating crow. <laughs> if I can catch one. Now, what about the extras? Well, okay, well, what extras? Would you like the food on plates? <laughs> yes, thank you very much. The photographer is going to cost $200. $150 tuxedo rentals. Oh. Here, I've collected everybody's invitation list. What's the tab so far? Well, not counting the food. Give this to you, honey. It comes out to... Here. <laughs> you suppose anybody would miss the food? There's a few more names on my list. Who's Walter Isbicky? My second cousin. He's dead. Invite him anyway. <laughs> He won't eat much. <laughs> Naughty Grandpa. <laughs> that is for after the ceremony. At my age, you don't put off anything. Hello! So glad you could make it. Come on in. Come on in. Nell. Yeah. What is it? What? I need a pair of scissors. Okay. What's wrong? The vest that Eddie rented is too tight. I gotta cut it up the back. I told you, you should have rented rubber clothes. <laughs> is that fly spray? It's only water. My liver started to dry up. Mine dried up years ago. <laughs> How's that? Not enough. Cut some more. <laughs> hey, hold still. I can't. I'm too nervous. What if after the wedding, she finds out I'm somebody else? And I find out she's somebody else? It'll add excitement to your marriage. You can pretend you're cheating with your own wife. <laughs> <laughs> Try that. It's still too tight. Well, it would have fit if you hadn't made a pig of yourself at your bachelor party. How's that? That's perfect. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Here, sit down. 
and button that up, huh? Carl, I'm worried about what's going to happen after the wedding. Uh, everything is going to be fine. You'll see. I don't know, Carl. Y you know, they say after you're married, you gain weight. <laughs> Carl, I could explode. Look, okay, Eddie, once you say those three little words, I do, it'll be all over. And so will all the good times. What do you expect of marriage anyway? I don't know. You love her, don't you? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, marriage will cure that. <laughs> Eddie's all set. How you coming in there? We're almost ready. Grandma was trying to bite off a piece of thread, and she got her false teeth stuck to the wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. It's hard to believe I was once thin enough to be married in this dress. I'll bet you could still fit in it if you wore a girdle. I am wearing a girdle. <laughs> well, so much for something old. Oh, and this is borrowed, so that kills two birds with one stone. <laughs> and you've got the pearls that Nell gave you, so that's something new. Right. Now all you need is something blue. Oh. Hey, here. You can borrow my Smurf. <laughs> Honey, Maxine is too grown up for that. Give it to Uncle Ed. I've got some blue ribbons in my room. I'll get them. Oh, thank you, Katie. Hey, break a leg, big guy. Hi, Maxine. Oh, no. Out. Away. Away. What's Don't wrong? you come in here. What's wrong? Close the door. Don't you know it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding? I got it, Grandma. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good luck, Sonny. You make a handsome groom. <laughs> Try not to make a jackass out of yourself. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I want to get some tissues in case I start to cry. Just use the ones in your bra. <laughs> Hi, Maxine. Hi, Ed. You look nice. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> well, here we go. For better or for worse. Yeah, I could do better and you could do worse. <laughs> you mean I'm not good enough for you? Ed, that was a joke. Yeah? What comes next, a fat joke? Well, what's the matter with you? You're trying to change my life. There it is. There it is, the fat joke. <laughs> and what about going out with the boys? I told you I gave all that up. <laughs> I'm talking about me. Oh, you want to go out with boys? <laughs> the boys. You know, bowling, poker, beer parties. Oh, Ed, you hate that stuff. Here you go. Telling me I can't do things I hate to do. <laughs> You're just afraid. You're, you're making up excuses. You're just trying to get out of marrying me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I don't have to make up an excuse. I have a real good competent excuse. Oh, really? Well, what's that? I have a button off my sleeve. That's it. The wedding's off. <laughs> himself in the room. What? 
Well, so much for I've got a secret. I'll be upstairs. Have a good time. <laughs> Uh, folks, uh, well, since this is such a joyous occasion, uh, I think we ought to have a, a little toast before the wedding. All right, Carl, let me give him the first one. It's uh, easy to grin when your ship comes in and life is a happy lot. But the man who's worthwhile is the man who can smile while his shorts creep up in a knot. Cheers. <laughs> Eddie, what's wrong, honey? Did your zipper break? <laughs> Did your deodorant stop working? Ed, come out of there. You're making us all look like idiots. Oh, honey, come on, listen. You just come in here and relax. I'll get him out if I have to drag him through the keyhole, hair by hair. Is he still in there? He has to be. He's too fat to get through the window. <laughs> Look, why don't you go downstairs and, and make an excuse while I get him out, huh? Wait a minute. What? Why does it have to be me? Because my only weapon is a gun. You got your mouth. <laughs> if I were you, I would watch out for kitty litter in my oatmeal. <laughs> now have your attention, please. Please let me have your attention. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> oh, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> it seems that the groom... <laughs> the groom dropped his teeth in the toilet. <laughs> it right now. Now, y'all go on and eat and be merry. Hello, uh, Judge. How you doing? Okay, now. But I, I, I wasn't planning on this delay. I have to get back to court for a murder trial. Just hang around here. There's bound to be one any second. <laughs> so, how long have you known Maxine? Oh, uh, for years. <laughs> yes. We used to work together. Oh, in the phone company? The telephone company? Well, yeah. My sister said that you were call girls. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Excuse us. Samantha, dear, I don't want to go into details or anything, but Ginger and Pepper are ladies of the evening. What do they do in the daytime? <laughs> Wait for it to get dark. <laughs> No, wait a minute. Please, let's get the judge in this picture. Here, oh. girls. I'll be right back. I'm Judge Mekinoff. Yes. Hello, hello. Judge. Hello. hello. How do you do? You girls look familiar. Have we met before? Yeah, uh, several times. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You're known as Judge Freebie. Oh. Well, let me handle this. Oh, it's no use, Pop. He's not going to come out. Open up this door, you horse-faced blimp. <laughs> oh, Szyszewski is in drag. <laughs> it's not that door, Pop. Ed's in here. Ed, come up. Please, come up. Oh, take it easy, Maxine. I know how to get that dim bulb out of there. We need brute force. Pop, you're right. I'll get now. <laughs> That's much the story. You can talk to me. I've been around. Can tell... Anything about Ed to me, just don't tell me he's ACDC. Oh, no, no, I can guarantee that. I, I think the medical term is called cold feet. Yeah, well, Carl was the same way. Now let me handle this. Ed, there's a caterer downstairs who's going to throw away $2,000 worth of food. Better stand back, you may get hit by a flying doorknob. <laughs> well, if he's not coming out for food... We're in worse trouble than I thought. Ed, this is your father. At least your mother tells me that. <laughs> now, Ed, it's your wedding day. Come on out and face it like a man. Ed, you and Maxine are like two ships that meet in the night. She's a sleek luxury liner, and 
You're a broken down tugboat that's coming apart at the sea. <laughs> now you've got to bring her in the dock before your pier collapses. And if you don't, you're gonna end up a very lonely, unhappy old man. I'm sorry, Maxine. Sorry? That, that's it? You ruined the most wonderful day of my life and all you can say is you're sorry? Well, I, I had to have a little time to think. Oh, we've been going steady for six months and you never thought before? No. <laughs> Thanks to you. Eddie, your father's here. Don't mind me, I can't hear a thing. <laughs> So, what did you think about all this time? Well, I, I thought that if I shaved my beard, I'd look about ten years younger. Oh, Eddie, are you still worried about being too old to get married? Yeah. Well, that's what I figured out. I'd rather be too old with you than too old without you. That is, if you'll still have me. Oh, Eddie. You could never be too old for anything. Boy, she got a lot to learn. <laughs> Judge. <laughs> Maxine, we are gathered together today to join this man and this woman in the bonds of wedlock. If anyone knows why this marriage should not take place, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Let's not wait for ever these tuxedos are rented. <laughs> Edward. Do you take Maxine to be your lawfully wedded wife? Edward! <laughs> Would you repeat the question, please? He does. I... I do. Maxine, do you take Edward to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Then by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. like a bride again. Uh, just like when we were on our honeymoon. <laughs> Would you like to try to go back to the good old days? Sure. Only this time, I'll run into the bathroom and cry. <laughs> When she gets married, she's going back to being an amateur. She's an athlete? That's one way of looking at it. 
Come on, let's come here and talk about the menu. Now, we want your very best. Ah, the very best would be $85 a head. Not that best. Uh, what would I get for, say, $15 a head? A lot of cold stares. <laughs> the best I can do for you is $25 a head. Okay, well, now you're talking turkey. Actually, you'll be eating crow. <laughs> if I can catch one. Now, what about the extras? Well, okay, now, what extras? Would you like the food on plates? <laughs> yes, thank you very much. The photographer is going to cost $200. $150 tuxedo rentals. Oh. Here, I've collected everybody's invitation list. What's the tab so far? Well, not counting the food. Give this to honey. It comes out to... Here. You suppose anybody would miss the food? There's a few more names on my list. Who's Walter Isbicky? My second cousin. He's dead. Invite him anyway. <laughs> he won't eat much. Grandpa. That is for after the ceremony. At my age, you don't put off anything. Hello! So glad you could make it. Come on in. Come on in. Nell. Yeah. What is it? What? I need a pair of scissors. Oh, okay. What's wrong? The vest that Eddie rented is too tight. I gotta cut it up the back. Uh, honey, she means selling bathroom plumbing. <laughs> so when are you going to marry her, Eddie? Come on, folks. Let's quit this talk about marriage. I mean, this is supposed to be a happy occasion, huh? Besides, Maxine doesn't want to get married. Yes, I do. <laughs> that is if I ever find the right guy. The right guy? You mean you wouldn't marry me? Oh, of course I would. You big lug. Eddie, I think she just accepted your proposal. <laughs> proposal? <laughs> what proposal? You mean that wasn't a proposal? <laughs> oh, what the hell? You might as well do this thing the right way. Come on, Maxine. Come on. Do we? Sit down. Oh. <laughs> Maxine, we'll, uh, Will you marry me? I'll have to think about it. <laughs> you better think fast. His pants are starting to split. <laughs> Maxine Knitsky. <laughs> I love it. everybody listen can i have your attention for a minute i want to make an announcement since my brother has saw fit to propose in my house i'm going to insist that he be married here oh. <laughs> and i'm going to pick up told you should have rented rubber clothes <laughs> is that fly spray it's only water my liver started to dry up mine dried up years ago <laughs> How's that? Not enough. Cut some more. <laughs> hey, hold still. I can't. I'm too nervous. What if after the wedding she finds out I'm somebody else? 
and I find out she's somebody else. It'll add excitement to your marriage. You can pretend you're cheating with your own wife. <laughs> <coughs> Try that. It's still too tight. Well, it would have fit if you hadn't made a pig of yourself at your bachelor party. How's that? That's perfect. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Here, sit down and button that up, huh? Carl, I'm worried about what's going to happen after the wedding. <laughs> Everything is going to be fine. You'll see. I don't know, Carl. Y you know, they say after you're married, you gain weight. <laughs> Carl, I could explode. <laughs> Eddie, once you say those three little words, I do, it'll be all over. And so will all the good times. What do you expect of marriage anyway? I don't know. You love her, don't you? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, marriage will cure that. <laughs> Eddie's all set. How you coming in there? We're almost ready. Grandma was trying to bite off a piece of thread and she got her false teeth stuck to the wedding dress. <laughs> oh, my. It's hard to believe I was once thin enough to be married in this dress. I'll bet you could still fit in it if you wore a girdle. I am wearing a girdle. <laughs> with a giant family-sized pizza. <laughs> and he says, do you want me to cut this pizza in eight pieces or 12 pieces? <laughs> and I said to him, you better cut it into eight pieces because I can't eat 12 pieces of pizza. <laughs> There's a perfect couple. Ed lays an egg and Maxine cackles. <laughs> He never grew up. He just grew out. Ed, I made a pumpkin pie for dessert. Would you like me to give you a piece to sit on? Oh, sure thing, now. Just put it here and dump my head. <laughs> oh, I just love him. So why don't you marry him? Uh, he, uh, n never asked me. What you waiting for, Eddie? Oh, come on, Pop. Quit joking around. Grandpa, you're embarrassing them. They've only been going together for six months. Yeah. I heard on TV that today's woman wants a career instead of marriage. Oh, not me, kid. Believe me, hustling Johns is no fun. The bill for the wedding. Oh, gee, thanks, Carl. What do you say now? Would you mind taking care of the arrangements? Sure thing, you got it. I don't know what to say, except this is the greatest family in the whole world. Well, Eddie, aren't you going to kiss the bride? Oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as I can find somebody to help me get off my knee. Oh. <laughs> I'll call the auto club. <laughs> I'm looking for the madam of the house. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. That's three blocks down. <laughs> yes. Perhaps I should have introduced myself. 
My card. Okay. Graham Bush, Glen Lawn's finest caterer. Come on in here. Incidentally, your flowers are dead. <laughs> Thank you. I was just about to get rid of them anyway. Hi, I'm Nell Hopper. I'm taking care of the food arrangements. Set seat. <clears throat> Well, obviously, you know something about food. <laughs> yes, I know a meatball when I see one. Well, you just leave everything in my hands, and I'll give you an affair to remember. <laughs> an affair with you is something I wouldn't forget. <laughs> Have you picked the hotel yet? No, we thought we would have it here. Here? In a thrift shop? <laughs> it's just a family wedding. Whatever does the groom do? Oh, he's a mortician. How festive. <laughs> and the bride? Well, she's retired. From what? Well, see, she used to be a professional.